Are you ready? <sighs> Y'all, welcome back to Clutch Time with Mike on the mic. It's another quick update. Y'all, I'm so sick of being a Titans fan. I really am because I just want to know. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? <laughs> What was the reason? What was the reason? I just, I need to know. Like, we've had two bad seasons in a row. I understand that. But we've had, we have, we had one of the best coaches in the National Football League, in my opinion. Not just because he was the coach of my team, but because his track record shows that he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. And we decided after two lackluster seasons, I understand that, to let him go. But... This is why I say a lot, I hate the politics of the NFL. So Mike Vrabel was hired as the head coach of the Titans in 2018. He was uh, awarded a five-year contract. So basically, he coached out his contract, and then they let him go. They didn't renew him. So in them five years, he went 54 and 45. He won the AFC South twice in uh, 2020 and 2021. Um, he had four straight winning seasons, and then the last two were losing seasons. Um he won, like I said, he won the AFC South in 2020. In 2021, he was the number one seed. Uh, and then also in 2019, uh, barely making the playoffs as a six seed, he went on the road. He sent Tom Brady out of New England and sent Tom Brady on to Tampa Bay. Then he went to the number one seed, Baltimore Ravens, the year that Lamar Jackson won the MVP, defeated them. Um, he led Derrick Henry to a wrestling title in uh, 2019 and 2020. Um, and as a, in uh, 2020, he was a 2,000 yard rusher and the offensive player of the year. And in 2021, had Derrick Henry not hurt his foot, uh, Derrick Henry would have rushed for 2,000 yards in back to back seasons. I wholeheartedly believe that. So, again, you guys fire him. I don't know what the reason was um, behind it, but the organization has to look at themselves. Look at what you guys gave him to work with. You traded your best wide receiver in A.J. Brown. You traded your best defender, well, arguably your best defender away in Kevin Bayard. You replaced A.J. Brown with a rookie wide receiver from Arkansas, Traylon Burks, who hasn't panned out. He stays hurt. You didn't replace Kevin Bayard with anybody of, of relevance. You let your offensive line commit the Cardinals sin. You let them get old together. And instead of replacing the pieces that were falling off one by one, you let them all get old together. So now we have a porous offensive line. Um, you never added to the defense outside of re-signing Jeffrey Simmons, who is our best defensive player right now. So I just I don't understand how any of that is Mike Rabel's fault. And I get it. He's the head coach, and he has to take responsibility for some of it. But some of them decisions, I'm sure, were out of his hand. I'm sure they called him and said, hey, we don't want to give A.J. Brown an extra $5 million or whatever it was, so we're going to trade him and get rid of him. Um, the trade's already you know, going down. You just got to live with it, and you got to go draft a, a rookie wide receiver um, and work with it. Stupid. I don't, I, I don't get it. And then, uh, like I said, with the offensive line, you let the offensive line get old together. Um, Ryan Tannehill is not the best quarterback. I'm sick of the Ryan Tannehill experiment. Um, but he was serviceable, especially in the years that we were winning. We were number one season and having winning records. He was serviceable. But if you take away any quarterback's best wide receiver, they're going to look real pedestrian. So, again, it's so hard being a Titans fan, and I'm sick of it. I really am. I want to fill out the form to go find a new team because that's where I'm at at this point. <sighs> Thanks, y'all, for tuning in to another update with Clutch Time with Mike on the mic. Uh, I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my day because I'm sick of it, y'all. I'm really sick of it. I am.